Hi guys, I'm going to walk you through the TAM 171 Introduction to Textiles 2020 online syllabus. My name is Angela Bochkowski. You can reach me at abochkowski at bsu.edu. I will have office hours um, from Mondays and Wednesdays from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. This will be a time that you should be able to reach me uh, via email. Uh, if you have any questions, but you can always send me an email anytime and I should be able to get back to you pretty shortly. Uh, this course is a survey of textile terminology and properties and will enable you to make appropriate choices in textile selection for a product. And this course is an introduction to the diversity of textile arts. You will be able to identify major textiles, including knits and wovens, compare and contrast textiles, identify end uses such as apparel and home furnishings, identify a variety of fiber tests, including fiber identification, strength, resiliency, and color fastness, and define textile terminology. You'll also be able to demonstrate fabric testing procedures, demonstrate professional oral, written, and visual communication skills and organizational skills, determine the proper care techniques and procedures for textile products, and explain the relationship of the textile industry within the fashion interior industry. You'll also be able to demonstrate the ability to distinguish between natural, man-made fibers and blended fabrications, and demonstrate the ability to discern and judge probable quality fiber content, specific method of construction, and performance of a fabric based on various testing methods. So the course requirements for this class is you will have to have completion of each lesson by the student as demonstrated in class by the instructor participation in class discussions, all assignments by the instructor must be turned in by the due date, uh, present group or individual reports related to content, take all test quizzes and examinations, and complete a final project demonstrating the application and understanding of the introduction to textile curriculum. So some of the different projects that we're going to be working on um, during this semester, the different learning assessments, is we'll do a current film analysis. I think we'll do eight of those throughout the semester. You'll be assigned to research current popular culture surrounding textiles and fashion, the activity designed to promote inquiry and critical thinking, as well as an understanding of research strategy. And so with that, I'll assign you a short film to watch and you'll write an analysis and this will keep us all engaged in current events in the textile and fashion industry. Uh, we'll also do labs where I'll give virtual demonstrations in different textile manipulations and you may or may not do a similar uh, demonstration and show us. Uh, we'll do individual projects like the Swatch project. So that's that uh, Swatch kit that you'll be purchasing where you'll uh, be able to demonstrate your understanding of fibers and their properties using the Consumer Textile Swatch Kit uh, to understand and describe the appropriateness of a fabric based on your knowledge of fibers. Uh, we will take a midterm exam and also a final exam. And there'll be a final course project where you'll research and develop a specific textile technique and present your findings in both a typed report and a visual presentation. So this is a virtual class and we won't be meeting in person. So we'll be uh, submitting everything through Blackboard or Google Drive and various channels online. The grade breakdown um, is as follows. We'll have um, different review questions for every chapter in the book. So that's going to be worth 15% of your grade. So definitely make sure that you keep up with your review questions. This is just also a really smart way to make sure that you're reading the content, you're taking in the content. It helps you study for quizzes and exams. Um, it just keeps you prepared. So make sure that you're reading all the chapters and you're completing the review questions. If so, you're going to do great. Uh, the film analysis is another 15% right there. Again, we have eight of these, so this is a really important way to stay on top of current events. So these are going to be very important. Uh, tests and quizzes are 20% of your grade. Uh, individual projects uh, will have a couple of these. These are 25% of your grade, a pretty large portion, so definitely don't um, 
take them lightly, and then the final project will be 25% of your grade all by itself. So that's very heavily weighted. It's going to be the example um, of you testing all of your knowledge throughout the semester, so make sure that you take that one really seriously as well. There's two required textbooks for this class, Textiles by Sarah Kadoff, the 12th edition. Um, you can also get an early edition, that's fine. Not a whole lot has changed in earlier editions, let me know. Um, the ebook is what I suggest because it's the cheapest. This is an expensive book and I don't feel like you really need to own a physical copy. I feel like an ebook is fine. And the Consumer Textile Swatch Kit is another required textbook. This is actually a project, one of the projects that will be worth 25% of your grade. So you definitely have to get this book. It comes with swatches, just like the photo shows here. It comes with physical pieces of fabric that you can feel, and especially because we're meeting virtually for this class, and I can't really bring in pieces of fabric for you to touch during class, you're going to need this textile swatch kit so that you can touch and feel fabrics on your own and be able to compare them. So get these two books um, ASAP. You can order them from the bookstore or I've posted in the announcements on Blackboard um, different ways that you can get uh, the swatch kit directly from the publisher and you're welcome to look for the textiles textbook online and see if you can find it cheaper someplace else. If you have any issues and you need the Student Technology Help Desk, information is here. Um, reach out to them with any issues with technology that you're having. Um, so for classroom policies, you must log on at least once per week to be considered present in attendance. So you'll still be responsible for any assignments assigned or material discussed when you are not present in attendance. So just to make sure that we're still keeping with an attendance policy, you must log on to Blackboard at least one time per week to make sure that you're counted as present. Please use proper online netiquette when posting to the discussion forum or in a live session. Be respectful and courteous to your peers and focus on giving helpful insights and suggestions that will help them improve their work. The VSU Honor Code governs this course. Academic dishonesty is taken very seriously. Um, any academic dishonesty such as cheating or plagiarism will not be tolerate, tolerated and a student caught cheating will be given a zero for the working question, removed from the course with a grade of F or expelled from the college. Students will be required to purchase all mandatory textbooks and materials for their classes as indicated in the course syllabus and all work must be turned in on time for full credit. No late work will be accepted after two days late. The first day is an automatic 10 point deduction. The second day late is a 20 point automatic deduction. And after day two, no late work will be accepted at all. If you have any disabilities um, that you need us to be aware of, please contact uh, student counseling or students with disabilities so that they can make sure to make any accommodations for you. And you can also let me know so that I can accommodate you in any way. So get that done sooner rather than later for any accommodations that you need. This is a tentative schedule and this is posted to Blackboard as well, but it goes through week by week. Um, and it kind of gives us a rundown of what chapters we're going to be going over and what assignments are going to be due. So you can go through this in the syllabus that's again posted in Blackboard under the section titled Syllabus. And you can read this and kind of look ahead. And then I'll be posting on Blackboard week by week with the assignments that are due for that week. But you can kind of see we'll go through all the different chapters. We'll do chapter review questions for each. We'll have different film analysis scheduled throughout. We'll have different labs scheduled throughout where we'll do different demonstrations. And we'll have different projects scheduled throughout. And here's the last final days. And again, we'll have a midterm exam and a final exam. Please reach out via email if you have any questions. And again, this is posted for you to read in Blackboard. <laughs>